and we are live. <laughs> so good evening, everyone. Look at you, so colorful with this color. I love it. It's I actually we're now wearing dark. <laughs> I know, and also I have to say that this is the brightest, brightest color. That it doesn't matter what kind of day you're having, it definitely brightens up your day. That's for sure. I agree. Look, I'm fully with you. <laughs> So today we actually got a nice topic. So I'm not sure how many of you are using Meetup. Um, I would love to hear it in the comments. How many of you are actually using Meetup uh, from business side, okay, to manage your activities, your events? And how many of you are just participating in Meetups? And maybe you never heard about it as well. So, you know, write in the comments below, just share with us and let us know. I know you use Meetup. I, I do. Mm, I do. I think I think it's a great way to put yourself out there and kind of to test the waters. You know, it, it does. It gives you a, a platform to communicate with like minded people for sure. So we're going to give you six tips on how you can actually grow your meetup group. Okay, we're going to start with the first one. And the first one is and it's actually like a tip in everything you do in marketing to niche yourself. OK, you don't want to be a group. And it doesn't matter if even you do a group of hike, you know, you can do a certain type of hike, a hike for singles, a hike just for females, a hike just in certain areas, you know, try to really niche yourself and find your own concept, concept, you know, create a certain concept to the group, make it for something that people are going to look, okay, I know exactly what I'm going to get there. I'm relating to this concept. That's what I'm interested to. And that's going to help you to grow it. So really try to think on how you can niche yourself and develop your own concept. Yeah, because also there's so many and, when you, and it's, and it's, it's uh, global. So when you go on there, you know, you are looking for very, something very specific. We all are. So you don't go on there wanting to be part of everything and, and join every single group. So the more, the clearer it is on what the group is about, the greater the likelihood you're going to get the right people to it. It is. Yeah. So the next one is about creating a the right name or a, a irresistible name and, in, in, and description. And I, I resonate with that, but I sometimes think there's a fine line between almost the creative side and something like one of the things that I that I say on mine is empowering conversations. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, because it's around personal development, it's quite a it, it's quite a challenge to be too in, um, creative. I, I, do you know what I'm saying? But there is still a way to be creative, and the name is not even necessarily about the creativity. It's more about making a name that's going to be strong and very clear and very straight to the point and very appealing as well, you know, for people to know what to come to. And it doesn't matter on the side of the creativity necessarily because, and I go back to the hike, right, because it's easy to explain it, but you not necessarily can make a hike something like, you know, you can give it like a nice a, a nice name of like hiking, hiking Cape Town to find your partner. That's something that people that are searching for, like, you know, relationship or stuff like this, mm, or like, you know, get a uh, get together, like in Cape Town hike or like different things. You can still find some names that will be irresistible for the person to actually look for that topic. But it's something also very clear about the pe for the people to know what it's all about. So if you, for mm. example, you have a group about certain interviews, it needs to be around that, but around side, um, you know, uh, get to know yourself and, or like, you know, you can, you can find different ways and you, what you can do to find the names is write down, um, like a few words that you resonate with that describe for you what the group is all about and try from those different words to see how you can actually build that name. Okay. And that's the same thing, but the same exercise that I do with clients on how to define your message. Write down the different names, the different like words. So for example, you say um, uh, connect to yourself, right? Do you want to be uh, authentic? You story. You put different words. Yes, you put all of this and you write them down. And then out of that, you look at it and then you're trying to build the name. So it's also yeah. speaking to the values that you, you're going to give in the group, but it's also going to speak to you and then you make it something like that. 
Yeah. Also, the thing is, you could have a name for the group. So I've got Cape Town Professional Development. Um, but well, then, the right? Okay. It is. And then on there, you have your events. But then your events have got the different names. Or do you say? Or do you think? The problem. Okay. And that's the problem. And that's, I'll go back to the first one and the second one. Because the first one was to niche yourself. And the title that you have for the name of the group is not really niching. It's very wide. So people okay. are not sure what are they going to get there. So personal development and like what's in it for me? What is the added value for me in that? And that's why the niching and also in, in line with the creating their irresistible um, group name, and the descriptions that get people, this is why you want to join this group. It's not any type of personal development group. This is yeah. the group that you're going to learn da, 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 and whatsoever. Mm. And from that, you go to basically the third one, that is you need to create your own tribe. Okay, create your own tribe there. And that's yeah. very important. And if you look at the different tips that we're giving you, they're actually walking you step by step. Okay, mm -hmm. you need yourself. By niching yourself, you can name the group and the, the description is very accurate and that can help you to create your own tribe. And that's the thing you want. You want to have those people with you and they will go with you and follow you and they're going to join your group and they want to know about your activities and they're going to do whatever they can to join your events because they want to, because they want to be part of your tribe. Also, what I what I do is I communicate with, those, with the people in, in the group. And I ask them, you know, if they would like to be part of my, be, if I can add them to my newsletter. So, you know, for people, it's always, everything's an extension of something else. You know, then they become, they join on the newsletter and then they hear about this and then they go to events. And it's, that's very much creating a tribe. So I relate to that very much. Because also that ties into the next one about getting to know your tribe. Because that's how you really do. So I'm, the way I'm getting to know my tribe is through real conversations. I'm loving this real conversations. You know, I'm, 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 it gives me an excuse to chat and connect up with people that I've always had a good rapport with, but you know what life and I don't know, provinces and lockdown and whatever, I don't even know why, but you just drift. And now to phone them up and go, hey, I'd love to have a real conversation with you. Can you give me 10 minutes? And they're like, absolutely. I haven't really had anyone yet who's gone like, oh, no, 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 unless they're camera shy. But that's, that's a whole nother thing, you know? And that's the thing, you know, if you decided to create a group, okay? And it doesn't matter if you created this group on a meetup or you created a group on a Facebook. You mm. want to know the people. You want to get to know your tribe. So create some personal connections, you know? Do it. Get to know them. So you're doing it with the interviews, that you do the 10-minute interviews with them, and then you're chatting with them and get to know them. But there's so many different ways to do it. And, you know, just reach out to them because once you know them, they're going to stick to your tribe, and that's what you're trying to, you know, to get to. Um, it actually also uh, links to number five, which is authenticity, right? Because if you are you, you are the reason why they're coming to this group. Okay, yep. that is why they're joining because of you, because of what you're gonna provide and what you're gonna give them. So mm -hmm. make sure that you're true to yourself and you're honest with yourself and you, you just be yourself, you know, and they will stick and they will come and be with you. And that's very important. And that's in general in social media and especially after COVID, right. and everyone is always there, even that with those who yeah. did not like social media and they're there now. That's what's happening. If you're not true to yourself, if you look like it's a scam, like it's like something not real over there. Ugh, no, they're gonna, you're going to lose them. So one of the things that happened last week was I did a, an, an interview slash conversation with one with the guy and I was in a coffee shop and my fault, completely my fault. I shouldn't be in a coffee shop when I'm doing something like that. I never, do, I normally always do it from home. I never, never do, but any for it was a beautiful day and I'll justify it because it was great. Anyway, cut long story short, did the, did the conversation. He was great. On my side, I thought, oh, Bridget, oh, the sound not great. But anyway, I thought, you know what? It's fine. Then I, I sent him the link for the YouTube and for all the different platforms. And he came back and he said, it's amazing. It's amazing how the first thing we do is we look, we judge ourselves. So the first thing that he did was he said, wow, I fiddle a lot with my mic. Or I don't know. He was doing something about criticizing himself. I didn't even notice that. I said, well, funny you mentioned that. 
because I actually thought I'd really, you know, planned badly with the whole sound because I could hear trucks and everything going past. But I followed that by saying the group is called Real Conversations with Real People, not perfect people in perfect situations with a perfect life. So I don't care, actually. You know, it's part of being authentic. That's what I was getting at. It is, and I'll remind everyone, when we started, we used to do it in Lagoon Beach, and there was lots of background noise. We used to ask them to put the music off, um, and there was always that no. way that always come to us when you see that, like, we're live, and we're live like this, yeah. and say, you want to have a drink? Do you want something? And like, you know, yeah. and they're like, why we're ignoring it? And that's the thing. That's what people get, and that's my other tip for you. You know, and I heard it from some lady that she's got lots of subscribers on YouTube. And the funny part, and you know what, that's the funny part, because that was the first video, similar thing that happened to me with my YouTube, is that the first the video that she did with a pyjama just to something for her clients on the way, that was the one that got her most of the views. The one that opened me with YouTube and got me, I didn't want to do it. Everyone were asking me a question. It was the first thing that I was doing with my calls. I hated it. I was just doing like this with my phone. Tuck, tuck, tuck. And that's the one that got me the most views. And since then, YouTube is promoting my view. So it's not necessarily a being doing things the perfect way. You know, be you. That was me at that moment. People asked me, I took my phone, I made it. Like even now I'm uploading for something for the Israeli crowd because it just happened. It's so quick. I'm not overthinking. Now I put the cameras and lights and everything. Okay, and that's yeah. what people connect to. Be yourself. So if you created a group and it doesn't matter where the group is, make sure that you are yourself. People come to you because of you, not because of anything else. Um, mm -hmm. So just remember that as well. <laughs> So the next one is to share in the relevant places. And when I think of that, I think, you know, so you can go, you can take your event, also have your event on Facebook. Um, aside of maybe your website, Facebook, your meetup. So there's a lot of things. So for example, and we'll take the meetup. You've got an event in meetup and you want to bring the people. So you copy paste the URL and you can promote it on your website. Uh, put it in your new newsletter that you do. Put yes. it on Facebook and bring people from there. There's a ways to also add links on uh, Instagram. So do it from there. You know, use the different platforms that you've got to bring the people. You can use WhatsApp as well. So that's what I said. But you need to share in the relevant group. It's not just to put it out there and that's it. No. Mm -hmm. Don't waste your time and energy. And let's, for example, give it like this. Facebook will block you. If you're going to post in too many groups on that day. Okay. Nice. But there's a system with Facebook. If you're really active on Facebook and you're working and you're getting people to stay in the platform for a longer period of time, they're going to love you and they're not going to block you that easily. But there's also a system with that to do. And the thing is that you don't want to waste it and find yourself that you're posting in, let's say 20 groups, you get blocked, but none of them was the right group for you. You know? So for yeah. example, if you're doing a personal development, you can put it in groups that people are interested in that topic. Groups for entrepreneurs, for example, they're trying to grow, you know, woman empowerment group, things like that. But you're not necessarily going to put it in a group um, of cooking, <laughs> okay? You're not necessarily put it in a group of like, unless you like, let's say, for example, if your target market is moms, there's a lot of groups of moms, moms entrepreneurs and things like that, so you can put in there. But in everything we do, it's not just a matter of having the content. Make sure that you promoting it in the right groups, in the right platforms for your business. So what is right for your business? Check it out. If you're not sure, you're more than welcome to consult with me here on the comments or in a private message and I'll answer you. But it is very important. And that's sometimes a lot of things that we're missing out. We have so many marketing tools around us, but we don't really know how to use it. And what also happened now is that because of social media, we forget that the other tools and not only social media, use. So find the ways to use the different things. You know, you can even use your own networking group and ask people to share it as well. There's so many things you can do uh, just to promote the events that you're hosting. I didn't know you could do it on Instagram. There's a trick. So basically, if you have more than 10,000 followers, you can add a link, external link. 
But if you don't have, there's a trick, trick, and I have a video for that. So I'll put the com I'll put it in the comments um, mm -hmm. that I'm presenting how you can actually do it. So there's a nice way you can make a nice video, invite people for that. You can add the link, and then people just swipe up, and they can come to the link of the event. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very so nice. before we sum it all up, um, we just want to rem remind you all. So every Tuesday, we're speaking about marketing at half past six in the evening. Every Friday, we're talking about personal development at 12 o'clock. So join us. If you mm -hmm. have topics you want us to chat about, you want to learn more, either write it in the comments or send us as a private message to shift one degree and big the consulting. We really want to give you content that can really help you. So I value. Yeah. value, add a value. What are you missing out? If you knew, for those of you watching us now, what are you missing out with your business now? Where do you need help? Do you need help on doing things outside of your comfort zone? Do you need help with your Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, whatever, in generating leads? What do you need? What do you want the next topic to be? And maybe we can even answer some of your questions now if you want it. Um, and again, the tips we're giving on this now you can use it not only on Meetup, you can use it as well for Facebook, for everything that you do. That's like part of the rules in marketing. Okay, so those are the foundation. So if we're gonna go back and go over them. So the first one, niche your group, okay? Have a concept. Don't spread yourself, don't go wide. Spread yourself, be very accurate. And have an irresistible catchy name and description. Yes, and create your own tribe. Get those people that will follow you all the time. And by the way, if they're going to follow you in Meetup, you can bring them to your Facebook, Instagram, or whatsoever. That's a nice thing. Use the funnel of followers. And get to know them because then that's going to make it a lot easier as well. And just be you. Authenticity is really the key. <laughs> And then lastly, just to share in the relevant places, which is very important because it takes time. All of this takes time. So you don't want to waste your time. That's, that's the bottom line. You don't want to waste your time. No. And when you have good content, it's all about being accurate. Okay. Yeah. Think about a surgery. Okay. If let's say it's a hard uh, surgery, it doesn't open everything and start searching just to find it. It's very accurate. And that's the same as your marketing needs to be. There we go. Marketing and surgery, same, same. <laughs> same knowledge, especially. What do you mean? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, just seven years versus like here and there. <laughs> yes. wow. Thank you guys for watching us. If you have questions, just please really feel free to reach out to us. Ask us if you don't feel comfortable here. Um, put it in the private uh, note. Um, I'm going to see you on Friday at 12 o'clock. Twelve o'clock. Yep. Bye. Mm -hmm.